Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tower Media. I'm your host, Donald Wonder. We're going to do another book review today, and we're going to talk about a book with a female protagonist. Now, the good news is, over the last decade, we've been getting a lot of a lot more female protagonists in these books. We are in a feminist age. Females are getting a lot more awareness, and it's good because we get a lot of different perspectives. We've been having males taking over far too long. So, more recently, I've been listening to this book, <laughs> this supernatural book, focusing in the world of demons and psychics and vampires and all this crazy shit. And this one has given me some pause. But I've got a lot to say about it, so let's get into it. Tyro Media. series of Dante Valentine. Dante Valentine is a series of five supernatural books that were written in the mid-2000s by Lilith St. Clair, I think I might have got the name wrong, I do apologise. And basically it's a supernatural action, film noir-ish kind of story set in a dystopian city. I would like to compare it, imagine Sin City. A dystopian Sin City full of demons and vampires and psychics and all this crazy, crazy shit. That's the kind of backdrop for this city. It features our main character, Dante Valentine. Now, Dante Valentine, I thought that was a guy's name. It just sounds like a guy's name, but they keep on referring to him as Danny in the book. Just a side note, I'm, I know I'm going off topic here. Anyway, now I do want to say, this is the audiobook series I'm talking about, because you guys know I just do audiobooks when I'm talking about books. And it was produced by Graphic Audio. Graphic Audio, as I keep on telling you guys, is one of the best audio drama distributors. They produce fantastic audio drama books. They take books, normal books, that are just texts and make them into these big, giant productions with a whole cast and crew. And Graphic Audio have a reputation for making almost any book, even a mundane series, into greatness. This series might be a victim of that, <laughs> because I have mixed feelings about this series, and I'll tell you why. But let me tell you what the story is about. Dante Valentine is a bounty hunter. And mm, bounty hunter, kind of PI, private investigator, and psychic. And in this world, she takes bounty. She does so many things. I mean, the focus of this book is mostly about her dealing with Satan, the devil, in this series. The devil keeps on messing around with her life. In the first book, the devil takes her, kind of forces her to do a job for her. And he uses one of his verses in command, Jaffa Mel, to kind of overwatch her, to protect her while she's doing this job. And all five books more or less have to do with her dealings with Satan and her just messing with her life and the craziness that ensues from that point on. The voice actress doing Dante Valentine does a fantastic job. All the voice acting is, is stellar. It's always stellar with graphic audio, so there's no point in me going on about that. Now... Dante Valentine is a very unstable character. She, to be honest with you, she was abused in her life. She's gone through so much trauma. But the thing about her, she's pretty much an asshole, And she says her soul herself. I'm not just calling her an asshole. She treats everyone like shit. She's got a terrible attitude. You know, she's not a bad person, but she's just had a lot of bad shit happen to her in her life. So she's got a really bad attitude and she's really hard to get along with. The rest of the characters, she's got some friends that she works with, not a lot of friends, but people that she works with in the police department, some psychics that we meet along the way. The characters on a whole are likeable, but they're kind of one tone, to be completely honest. The second, the secondary main character would be Jaffa Mel, the demon, uh, Satan's first in command he uses to protect her. I liked him for the most part. He's got a really cool demeanor about him, very mysterious guy. Him and, this is not a spoiler, him and Dante have a, a relationship quotes that is very interesting that goes throughout the whole five seasons uh i kind of liked it at points but near the end it kind of waned on me the rest of the characters mostly they don't stick around for long and i'm not saying they get killed off most of the characters are bounty hunters as well or demons they don't stick around for long and they just you kind of eh, i don't know you kind of 
what you see is what you get. It's an action supernatural story. They're all demons. They're all crazy. They're all angry. They're all assholes. You know, it's very one note. I'm sorry. You don't get a lot of diversity with the characters in the series, to be blunt. When I think of Dante Valentine, Dante Valentine is kind of like Constantine mixed with Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Sin City. I think that's the perfect description for these, these three, or this series. And if you like that kind of thing, you're going to enjoy it. It's a good action show to listen to. But honestly, the first book was fine. The second book, I didn't care for. And the other three books, are, the last three books kind of go on one arc. And after a while, this, I just didn't care for anything that was happening. The reason why I didn't care was because Dante being the focus of the story is fine. But this is a story where the characters react more to situations, more than there's actual interesting plots. Most of the plots are based on demons coming after Dante, or Dante finding out who's going to fuck with her this time. And she just reacts to every situation. And as the situation, as the stories progress, she gets more abused and attacked. And physically and mentally, she becomes more unstable. As the story progresses, she becomes more, more unlikable, more volatile, and just, even she says all this herself, that she's a very hard person to get, on, get along with. And as the listener, as the reader, you know, I just found myself liking it less. Let me, let me talk about the world building, because one of the biggest positives I have to say about this story is, it's a very interesting world, and the way the story is written, the way the narrative is written, with Dante narrating it as a PI, as a film noir detective, is very interesting on that side. I have to admit, the world building is very good. As an action story, it's good. The action's good. The way uh, Liv St. Crow writes the story is good in that sense. But I just couldn't connect with the characters. And let me tell you something. By the end of the book, by the last two or three books, I didn't give a damn what happened to anyone. It literally just was one big clusterfuck of action and characters reacting to more action. And I just didn't care. I'm going to give Dante Valentine an uh, okay. It's just an, a supernatural action book with a very unstable protagonist and a good setting. I will give you that. A good setting and a good production with graphic audio. But if it wasn't for graphic audio, I would have dropped this because I just didn't connect with the characters. And I'm going to have to leave it at that. If you like action, if you like Constantine, Buffy the Vampire said you like demons, you like supernatural stories, you like supernatural, chances are you're going to like this. But if you're looking for a story, plot, something that's going to keep you engaged or keep you immersed or something, I don't think you're going to care. This is very superficial. But I do want to say, Liv St. Crow is a very good writer. And I think I want to, I might check out another one of her books. The story didn't grab me this time, but I don't want to put that against the writer because I think I, this story was easy to listen to. I just didn't care after a while. So that's Dante Valentine in a nutshell. Might be a bit harsh, but I'm going to call it how I see it. And that's just how I felt about it. So people, if you've watched or listened to Red Dante Valentine, we're mixing up mediums now. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of Dante Valentine. Uh, let me know what you think of my comments, good, bad, whatever. We're all just giving our own opinions, people. And I have to leave it there. So that's another episode of Tower Media, people. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I always appreciate it, guys. Until the next one, I'll see you on Planet Tyro here with me, Donald Wanda. See you later. Peace out.